So we're here at the Linaro Connect, and uh, who are you? I'm Christos Kolias uh, with uh, Orange uh, and our office in San Francisco. I'm Raj Murali, Director of Linaro Networking Group. What's up? Hi, Christos. Hi, so, nice seeing you here, and uh, thanks for coming to Linaro Connect. Uh, as Orange, uh, and uh, as a key active member of uh, NFE, can you just tell me so what it is going to help? the whole community and what it is, how it is going to impact the whole networking world. Uh, thanks, Raya. So uh, I'm very excited being here at the uh, uh, LCU 14 uh, conference and uh, as a very active member of the NFV community, we think that NFV can have a real impact in how we uh, uh, build and operate and architect uh, the future uh, telco networks and it goes beyond you know, the telco network into the data centers uh, uh, also. And uh, there are a few things that we think that NFV can, uh, can sort of like uncover in terms of uh, benefits. We're looking at how you can use NFV to uh, achieve uh, time to market when you have a new solution, how you can innovate better and faster and, and uh, offer new services to, to your customers, whether like a service provider uh, or a cloud provider for that matter. Uh, obviously, the uh, agility, the ability to again uh, uh, offer services. Uh, new services to, to the customers and the capex and opex savings that we think will follow as, as a result of moving into this uh, totally virtualized environment where we virtualize network functions that they run on dedicated hardware. I think that's going to be uh, extremely uh, helpful to the, uh, to, to, to the service providers in general. Christos, uh, do you mean that uh, by that once it is uh, well NFE enabled, so do you think that new features, functionalities to the end users of mobile or any other customers could be brought in faster? Yeah, so I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, as a result of you know building this uh, ecosystem, we're getting a more separate uh, players involved, we're getting people like you also being part of that ecosystem and how we can build uh, new products, new solutions and perhaps new services. I'm hopeful that we can come up with stuff that perhaps we're not even able to comprehend or, or uh, envisage uh, in the past. Uh, it may take time until we reach there because we have more mundane things to do today and we're looking today how we can actually transform this new NFV paradigm. But I'm, I'm hopeful that after like, a few years we'll be uh, you know, opening up uh, new things, maybe new applications. I talked about APIs in my keynote talk today. I think APIs are very, very important that can enable the end user essentially to come up and innovate and uh, you know, uh, be part of that uh, exciting uh, effort. Uh, thanks, Christos. So uh, I know that uh, your objective is to free up the whole networking world uh, from any dedicated uh, hardware or uh, dedicated software and making it uh, much more open. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, and, and since I talked about APIs, I know that you guys are uh, involved in the uh, open data plane uh, uh, efforts. How do you see ODP essentially uh, leveraging NFV moving forward? Yeah, uh, let me introduce about uh, ODP first. So the idea is to open up the data plane which is used uh, in uh, all the networking uh, solutions. So, so that is what the objective of it. So the main three areas where we want to achieve is open up the whole data plane. Number two is make it cross-platform. And third is make an efficient uh, data plane as possible which can work on all the platforms or multiple platforms easily, which can be ported, etc. So that is uh, the same thing like uh, what NFE is trying to achieve for the networking guys. So, so this we want to achieve for the uh, box movers in the networking community. So where are we? So we are currently, uh, we have released multiple versions of uh, data play. So the version 1.0, which is going to be the uh, uh, one key milestone for us is going to be done by end of this year, so ODP 1.0 you can expect by yeah. Already there is a good amount of uh, traction and participation, so we are planning to demonstrate, we are demonstrating about six or seven platforms, including Linux Generic uh, at LCU 14, so I would like you to visit uh, that. So, and uh, to make it uh, a cross-platform, so, and to uh, those things. So we have already achieved and we are running ODP on various platforms including ARM v7, v8, x86, PowerPC and uh, MIPS. So, so I think that is a pretty good and it has been very successful uh, run for us. 
from concept to this stage we have done it in approximately any year so i am very so to the yeah thanks for the invitation actually and i will be more than happy to actually visit and and, and uh, see what you guys are working on actually and i understand that odp is something that the linaro networking group is uh, uh, spearheading and uh, I noticed that, and, and George, the CEO, uh, talked about the, uh, they have uh, about 20, 28 members. I noticed that they're not any, uh, we're not there yet as members, as, as Orange, but I also noticed that you don't have any other end users as part of it. Is there any reason why we're not part of that uh, community yet? Okay, Christos, so, so, uh, it is not that we don't want any end users. To start with, ODP was immediately impacting the SOC vendors as well as the networking box manufacturers. The next phase in it is going to index all the end users like Orange, at and etc. So that is going to be the service providers of uh, networking. So we have already started uh, indexing or approaching them. So that is the reason why you are also here. So we want you to be part of this uh, whole community. So the benefits of this is going to be for the users of NFE as well as uh, similar SDN, so, uh, software defined networking uh, community. So I'm sure that they will uh, welcome us uh, open heartedly and it is going to be benefited from that. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.